Hello Virgo, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading for the month of May 2021. So Virgo, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Also Virgo, uh, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. And I would also appreciate uh, if you would hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Uh, Virgo, I have started with extended reading. So if you are interested and if you want to deep dive as to what your person is thinking more about you, what is the likely conclusion of the situation between you and your person, what action they intend to take towards you, okay, you can check out the extended reading. Over there, I also advise you on your life, your money, your career. I advise you regarding this connection and also what if, uh, what if you want to move on, okay? So that is about extended reading. As far as this reading on YouTube is concerned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here. They will represent the energy of the person uh, you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will be the, uh, they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Thereafter, we'll pull some tarot cards uh, from another deck, okay? And with the help of those cards, we'll check who is the new person that is coming towards you, the, uh, the person that you haven't met so far, okay? So this section is like over here, I'm going to describe the new person, describe the relationship that you'll have with the new person, okay? So uh, this is this section is applicable for people who are like singles or people even uh, who are separated but they whether you want to move on you, you don't want to move on you think that there is no harm in checking out the description of the new person right so this is applicable for those then there afterwards we'll pull out some oracle cards and we'll see what are the messages from the higher powers what are the messages from the universe regarding this connection or in general at the end we'll put out pull out some love notes and we'll see what your person was thinking and feeling about you especially during separation okay all right Virgo let's get started ace of swords for you page of pentacles then we have is the hermit then we have is ten of cups then we have is eight of pentacles Ten of Pentacles for you. Oh my God! Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles for your person, huh? And Empress, Eight of Cups. Interesting. All right. Huh. So if I have to talk about uh, the zodiac signs, you may be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra in particular. Okay, Virgo and Libra in particular. Okay, let's not remain fixed on the signs. If the sign pops up, all the better. Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So I believe that Virgo, you are uh, on the verge of, or uh, there is something that is going on in your mind, and you are not pretty sure whether you should take a leap of faith in that direction or not okay i believe you have reached a crossroad okay and you are not pretty sure whether which way you have to take okay there is there is one path which is highly carved out in your mind okay but still uh, you are like what do i need to do what do i need to do okay uh, whether it will be okay if I give up the another path okay so you don't want to you don't want to take any sort of decision in a haste okay I also see that look so this is your energy okay uh, the central card is your energy page of Pentacles and you are like you're thinking you're thinking which path should I take up there are two roads and you have reached a crossroad and you want to take one of that okay because you don't have you, you don't have the option to take both of them okay so in that situation you are highly inclined towards walking down a specific path and uh, you are however there is a dilemma but whatever you are thinking about you are thinking in the uh, in the right direction because you have been backed by the universe universe is saying okay just go ahead we are there uh, you uh, you are, you are protected we are there to protect you we are just following you from behind and then there is also one person who is ready to show you the path 
okay with that lantern holding in the, uh, holding in their hand this person is going to guide you this person is guide you from the uh, is going to guide you from the front and universe is going to protect you from behind okay so universe is saying just go ahead whatever you're thinking is right just go ahead and do that okay so i believe that this may be a situation with respect to a uh, jobs job or this may be a situation with respect to your career this may be a situation with respect to your uh huh maybe career choices you want to take a leap of faith to, uh, towards another job or towards another career a career or maybe even you may have uh, you know there is a choice between a new person and a past person someone has shown interest in you Virgo and you are like which way I want to go should I wait for the past person or should I go ahead and um, start taking interest in a new person so there is a crossroad that you have reached and you are supposed to take a decision because in any way you have not received uh any sort of com uh, communication from your past person right and it's been quite a long time that you have not received uh, something like this so any kind of uh, communication from your past person and you are thinking like probably they are not willing to come back probably they are not uh they are with someone else they are with, a, with the third party they are busy with the third party they are not thinking about me and they don't want me something like that okay regarding the past person there are some you know negative thoughts that are going on in your mind and you are a bit confused okay because uh, this person hasn't shown up in your life since a very long time they have made no efforts to get in touch with you so you are a bit confused that I have a new opportunity should I let that opportunity go away should I still wait for my past person who hasn't appeared in my life since last couple of months or last couple of years whatever the case is or last couple of weeks okay as far as your person is concerned Virgo we have 10 of cups we have 10 of pentacles and we have 8 of pentacles oh my god <sighs> so Virgo if you per if you are thinking your person is not at all interested in you if you are thinking that you have person is forgotten about you then Virgo let me tell you this is wrong you are on the top of their mind with that 10 of pentacles and with that uh, with that 10 of cups this person is right now focused on their finances their focus is on their finances. They are building up their finances because they want to build a strong future with you. They want to build up a strong future with you. They want to build up a strong family with you. They are also trying to heal something. Like they are also trying to heal themselves from something. Especially I feel that there was a third party role. And the third party was... You know, there was... The third party was trying to create a mess in this person's life. Okay? And that's why... That's why they are feeling bit low. There is a lot of regret around wrong decision making. Like how can I make a wrong decision in my life? How can I uh, uh, let this golden uh, let this golden opportunity slip away from my hands? Okay, so there is a lot of regret around uh, wrong decisions that this person had taken in their life. Okay, but the end goal is ten of cups and ten of pentacles, and with you. The end goal is 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. If this person was married, this person has uh, turned their back on their marriage. They are, there is a situation where I see that this person was, is not at all happy with the third party or with the spouse or uh, a long term partner. Okay. And there is a lot of regret. There is a lot of regret around their own actions. There is a lot of regret around uh, if this person treated you bad there is a lot of regret over there okay and there is there is this fear that you may walk away they are sensing your energy they are sensing your energy of you wanting to withdraw from this connection because this person has not shown up in your life and then there are other opportunities knocking your door right so what is the mutual energy mutual energy is the empress is empress and eight of cups so with that empress card both of you are craving Virgo consciously subconsciously you are craving for this person okay and that is one of the reason why you are waiting you are watching this uh, reading okay you want your person to come back to you you want your person to at least apologize for whatever they have done to you okay you want majority of you you want uh, you want abundance in this connection okay you want this connection to flourish because you people like you and your person had uh, invested a lot in this connection 
like you uh, everyone has 10 of cups and out of those 10 of cups eight cups have been invested in the situation and this person walk is walking away with those two cups because there is no return on these eight cups that were invested right you are on you are you are reflecting this energy of eight of cups you are almost on the verge of walking away and bang on exactly at that point of time this person is going to pop up in your life like wait wait virgo don't walk away okay all right so if this resonates uh, so far you can check out the extended reading we'll check out over there what this person uh is thinking and feeling about you okay we're going to deep dive into their feelings we'll also see what advice they are getting from the friends and, and family what action they intend to take towards you what is the likely conclusion of this situation right uh, i will also advise you about love career money uh i'll add uh to you then i will advise you regarding the situation i'll advise you what if you want to move on right so for this reading we'll see now who is the new person that is coming towards you virgo okay the description of the new person coming towards you now this section is applicable to um actually everyone okay so because there is no harm in checking out uh, who is the new person that is coming towards you you want to accept them you don't want to accept them it is totally up to you okay this is also applicable for singles so let's see who, uh, who is coming towards you and what sort of a relationship you'll have with this new person. We have eight of wands. We have page of pentacles. We have eight of swords. We have empress. We have we got Empress card for the second time, okay? Over here also in the mutual energy we had Empress card. Then we have Page of Cups, King of Wands, Nine of Swords, Four of Cups, Ten of Cups again, mm -hmm. Seven of Swords, okay. So Virgo, first of all, let me be clear because we have 10 of cups with a new person also and we have 10 of cups with a past person also. Marriage is looking very much promising for Virgos and uh, whether be it with the past person or be it with a new person. Okay, I see marriage uh, happening most likely I see 2022 because uh, you may seal the deal in 2021 uh, proposals may happen etc or proposal may also happen in 2022 but marriage is likely gonna happen before the end of 2022 that's what i see for some of you it may also be the first half of 2023 but i see a long-term relationship coming your way pretty soon okay uh, with this new person i see that uh, this this person is someone who is very very uh, masculine okay so when i say masculine uh, every single female and male both of them they have masculine and feminine energy okay so when i say masculine or feminine so don't just consider a man or a woman a man and a woman both of them they have masculine and feminine energy so uh, this person is very masculine okay and this person they have a very strong build and a very deterministic person okay they are extremely determined once they set their mind on something or someone they will chase that situation they will chase that person till the time they win that situation or that person in their life okay this person has gone through a lot let me tell you that they have uh, encountered a lot of ups and downs in their life and that is one of the reason uh, probably they are getting married uh, somewhere in their late 30s or somewhere in their uh, first uh, half of 40s okay so this person may be somewhere between 35 to 45 this person may be also younger than 35 but majority for majority of you i see that this person may be between 35 to 45 okay uh, they have had a lot of previous like they have had many relationships so i'm not saying that this person is someone who keeps on running behind the opposite sex no not that kind of a person but what i'm getting is people kept on entering in their life because this person is someone who is very good at heart okay they have a lot of loving and caring nature and they have a lot of uh, they are very extremely optimistic they are very uh, they are extremely optimistic and because of their optimism they kept on giving a lot of chances uh, to the wrong kind of people 
okay but however they have learned a lot from their previous mistakes and the kind of version you're going to see them like if this person keeps on telling you their previous stories you will never believe them like this person was also so naive and there uh, a couple of years ago okay but now they are they have become extremely strong uh, mentally and physically okay this person uh, this person will be a strong combination of fire air and water okay they will have strong fire air and water in their chart okay and this person is someone who is well established in whatever they are doing okay and they they are responsible they they like to take the responsibility of their near and dear ones they always act as a provider for their near and dear ones okay so this person may be a bread earner in their family uh, they may be taking care of their parents they may be taking care of their siblings younger siblings or something okay i also see that they are very generous in nature they are they are always there to help out their friends uh, friends and family okay and uh, this person this person was betrayed a lot in the past because of their generous nature but that of course is not the scenario anymore this person has recently got out of a uh, relationship okay and they are not very open to relationships as of now so when you meet them okay uh it will be initially even you won't be very much open to relationships at that point of time virgo okay however both of you once you meet uh once you encounter once you cross the paths for the first time okay there will be a strong magnetic pull between both of you both of you initially may dismiss that magnetic pull considering as an infatuation but then there will be likelihood of uh, coincidentally meeting or coincidentally bumping into one another again and again like two to three times you people will coincidentally meet and uh, meet one another again and again it may happen that either of you are going to get relocated to the city of the other person like it may happen virgo that you may get relocated where this person is living or this person may get relocated where you are living and that's how you people are going to meet one another okay i don't see that you people have taken birth at the same city in the same city or at the same place most likely i see you people are staying in different countries okay and uh, one person may get relocated in the other other city or country for work reasons and that's how you people are going to meet I also see that this person has lot of friends. This person has lot of friends, and this person uh, attracts success very fast. Okay, uh, the the reason why they attract success very fast is this person is very strategic uh, in their in their action. They are very strategic as to how they think, how they plan out their every single action, and how they implement their uh, whatever their ideas are. Okay, and that's why they are pretty. And at the same time, they are extremely. determined in whatever they are doing they are very hard working so that's why they attract success pretty fast and then there are many people who are very much jealous of this person's success there are many people like you know this person has experienced betrayal of trust from their near and dear ones only okay so that is probably it may happen that this person is helping out their family parents or siblings financially but this person may also prefer to stay away from their parents and siblings etc but staying away they are taking care of their family but uh, they have had encounters of lot of uh, like they have in, encountered lot of toxicity in the past and this person is going to love you a lot trust me this person is going to love you a lot and this person will treat you like the king or queen and whether you are a male or a female who is watching this you people have this urge to become mother or father pretty fast okay and that's what this person is going to honor okay and uh, this person is going to honor your intentions very soon this person you uh, like once you meet this person this urge of becoming a father or a mother will start emerging inside you and this person will honor your uh, your desires they will honor your intentions this person will make sure that you remain happy okay that you are always happy they will make sure of that they they will ensure that okay they will never want you to be unhappy this person will help you heal this person will help you heal from your past wounds etc okay they will also teach you a lot like how to deal with a situation how to 
help yourself get out of a situation if you're feeling stuck etc how to attract positivity this person works with a lot of law of attraction and all that stuff okay they will teach you a thing or two about spirituality then law of attraction how to do it properly and how to attract it properly i told you right this person attracts a success very fast so it is not just planning and plotting and hard work it is also their work it's a combination of law of attraction it's a combination of spirituality combination of hard work and determination and plans etc everything okay and that's what they're going to impart to you as well they're going to teach you a lot okay so this is about your new person Ooh, we are at 20 all right so let's see uh virgo what is your advice when it comes to when it comes to your life in general or your previous connection what is your advice regarding your life or, or your love life okay so we have magician and mirror then we have his door to personal healing and happiness envy and yin and yang yeah so again virgo you also have to be careful because uh, i see that uh there are people you you have backstabbers and you have some secret enemies okay hidden enemies you have hidden enemies so you better be careful like if certain positive things happen in your life you don't have to go on facebook and shout about it you don't have to post it on the instagram you better keep things to yourself or just share it with the trustworthy people okay because you attract you have this that is a part of your karma that you attract unnecessary attention you attract unnecessary envy a lot okay so let your success scream automatically let your work speak a lot okay rather than you going and speaking about your work and etc okay uh, because you are going to attract a lot of envy and with a door to personal healing and happiness what i feel is First of all, with a magician and the mirror, I feel that you are a psychic and you are a uh, healer or some of you are interested in becoming uh, Reiki masters, Reiki healers. Uh, you're going to help people heal. Okay. Door to personal healing and happiness. You are not just opening your door to personal healing and happiness, but you are also opening door to personal healing and happiness for many people with the help of your psychic abilities, with the help of your healing powers okay you are also a good man uh you are also a good manifester okay with that yin and yang again with that yin and yang uh next to the envy card what i feel is that uh your romantic life is looking very good you're going to meet someone who uh who is going to complete you you're going to meet someone who will who will be the one for you okay this this looks a very long-term commitment majority of you i see like this is a marriage and some of them are not going to have not going to be happy with your happiness okay so you have to decide how you want to deal with this situation whether you want to protect your relationship like uh, i'm telling you you have some hidden enemies and you have to know who are they okay all right so now let's see virgo what your person was thinking and feeling about you especially during separation let's see now this is like yeah uh, this may also be like you know what you are thinking and feeling about them okay so take how it resonates some of the love notes may look like what they are thinking and feeling about you some of the <clears throat> love notes may look like what they uh what what you are thinking and feeling about them and what they are thinking and feeling about you we can chat forever we lose track of time when we are together you have magic hand that can fix everything you are my best friend and will always be you're the first person i tell when things are good or bad nothing makes me happier than holding your hand how you share everything with me you think i'm good looking no matter what your voice resonates deeply in my soul we can imagine a wonderful future together you have the cutest smile on the earth you know how to put me first you make my fears melt away. I start missing you the second you leave. You are my strength. You hold the key to my heart. We are a perfect match. You respect my decision. You are the one that comes to my mind when I look up at the beautiful star. I feel at ease when I'm with you. Alright, I hope this resonates. Please hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Till then, bye.